Hi guys, this is Jake with Think Free Live Free and today I am busy with building my battery box for my 310 amp hour lithium ion phosphate battery. It's going to be a 24 volt battery running at 310 amp hours. Currently busy with uh, designing a box for it um, that will fit into my van and that uh, will be secure. So I've cut my pieces for my battery and this is kind of how it's going to look. Uh, I plan on nailing them and then also using some screws so they're nice and secure. I also plan on installing a computer fan on this side and then I'm going to do another vent on the opposite side so it can have some uh, ventilation, some, some flow through. The computer fan that I'm going to use looks like this and that's just going to go in on this side that will be connected to my DC supply I got it all cut out and put together I've also cut a circular hole right there for the computer fan and I bolted it in from the other side and added nuts on this side so it's nice and secure I used uh, nails, uh, 16 gauge brad nails and screws in some areas. It is exactly 25 and a half inches on the inside and 8 inches on the on the sides with 10 and a quarter inches high. So I plan on putting poly iso insulation on the bottom and then I've also cut a hole for a vent and this vent will be fitting in there and this vent can be closed or opened depending on if it's cold I can close that next step for me is to finish installing this vent there's a five inch hole on that side for the fan and then a five inch hole on this side for the vent hopefully that will help with uh, cooling a little bit uh, in the summer months. So this vent, um, I don't have to use screws. It's got these, it's got these tabs on the side. I don't know if you can see that. So this is how the vent looks installed. It's got uh, on and off switch here, which basically opens the vent. This is how it looks from the inside. As you can see there, it opens and closes. I got this vent on Amazon. It's a five inch vent for about $10. So I've cut my poly ISO insulation. It's got the silver side on this side and then like a paper side on that side. Um, I did a little research and depending on your use, um, I want the heat to go down and out if possible so I am gonna put the radiant barrier to the to the bottom side and the paper side to the top so that heat can escape and also if heat comes from underneath it can reflect off the the poly iso the silver side and not go into the battery box if that makes sense the dimensions of this box for eight these are for eight 310 amp hour cells they're all running at 3.2 volts uh, to make a 24 volt battery the dimensions for this box that i made is eight inches the battery is a little bit less than seven inches so there's going to be a half inch space on each side which hopefully will be enough for the for the air to flow through the reason i didn't make the box bigger was i'm trying to limit my space in the van and try to use my space as efficiently as possible so i've cut this piece uh, this piece is eight inches in width and the length is 25 and a half inches. So I've left two and a half inches in total for the length space. So the battery, when they're all put together, they're 23 inches. 
So there's basically gonna be two and a half inches on the sides, which rounds out to uh, one and a quarter inch on each side. So the batteries will sit on top of this and then they will get cutting boards in between each cell. I will secure them with a cross brace on the top. Um, and some of the sides will also get poly iso insulation, probably more on the bottom, so that the, there can be a, a, a air vent through the top. So here's my battery setup and my inverter. This was just to test everything. I'm gonna go ahead and disassemble that um, and test it in the box and see how everything fits and if I need to make any kind of adjustments. So as you can see here, it's quite a tight fit. It's got a half inch gap on each side. I'm going to either put a piece of wood in there or I'm going to put poly iso so that it keeps it nice and tight in there. And then uh, I'm going to put a piece of wood in here to keep these cells together. The thing that I'm having a little issues with is my BMS. I'm thinking that I'm going to I'm going to mount it in this area. Kind of like that. Against the wood there. Um, it's got enough there for the BMS negative, for the battery negative. thing that I'm running problems into the balance leads being long enough so the last three balance leads I'm gonna have to extend them for it to reach from here all the way to the end I did a little bit of research and it seems like these are not active balancing leads so shouldn't affect it too much if I extend it maybe uh, the last three I will extend about six inches longer. That's my battery box. Got the fan on this side and then it's going to blow some air through and it's got a half inch gap on both sides. The vent on this side can open or close depending on if it's cold or hot outside. This is going to sit on my wheel well. So I plan on drilling some holes at the bottom there so that the battery cable can go through. I cut these to the battery size. I'm gonna, these are cutting boards as you can see here. They're one millimeter thick. I'm gonna stick them in between each cell just to make sure that if anything rubs through uh, on the actual battery that everything will be okay that I'm not going to have shorts because the plastic rubbed through. I'm going to put these in between each cell like that. As you can see there, it fits in perfectly. That should just give it an extra protection in case the casing, the plastic uh, around the casing rubs off. If you're interested in these cutting boards, I will leave a link in the description. I ordered these from Amazon. It was four cutting boards. They were 12 inches by 15 inches. So I just cut these to size. The height on these are eight inches and the width is six and three quarters. I hope that helps anybody out there also doing this. I think this is definitely worth, worth putting the time in to um, place these in between your cells. I'm going to extend the balance leads. I'm going to put my BMS here, start connecting everything so that I can take this out to my van.
These are eight cells, 310 amp hour cells. I ordered these out of China. I paid $950 for the eight cells with shipping. Um, it took a very long time to get here, so. So that's basically my battery box build. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe if you find the content useful or you just enjoy this kind of content. I appreciate you guys watching. Take care. Bye.